Real estate investors, this video is for you. My name is Carolyn Castillo, team leader with Absolute Top Dollar with EXP Realty, the greatest brokerage in the world. Today's video is specifically for you investors. So I just recently made a video sharing the market conditions about what's changing in the market, what's happening, just like an overall perspective. Um, definitely recommend you go ahead and check that out. Um, but this video is specifically for investors. Guys, you got to listen up. You got to pay attention to what's happening in the market. Um, we are shifting. Things are changing. Okay. Now people are asking me, is it still a good time to invest? Is it still good to fix and flip? Um, is there still deals out there? And the answer is yes, 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 yes. Okay. The reason why is that a distressed property is always going to be a distressed property. No matter if it's a good market, a bad market, if it's inflation, there's no inflation. A distressed house is still a distressed house. So a house with a bad roof, an original kitchen, a carpet, old carpet flooring, you know, broken down house is always going to be a broken down house. So yes, we are still going to continue investing in real estate. We are still going to continue fix and flipping. We are still going to continue buying and holding. Okay. But we need to be looking at the numbers more carefully okay so what do i mean by that so basically what we've been on this like magical you know experience the last two years in the market so it has been um you know and if you're watching this you're my client you're like probably like don't even have to watch this because <laughs> You know, my clients, they don't even see the houses before they buy them. They don't even know what's going on. All they tell them is sign right here. It's a great deal. Sign here. They fix up the house and then I sell the house for them for absolute top dollar. Okay. So shameless plug for me. If you do not have a relationship with a real estate agent that specializes in selling homes for absolute top dollar and working with investors, Hit the link below, set up a consultation with me. I want to work with you. I want to be your realtor. During this time, it's going to be very crucial who you're getting your information from, okay? So right now, what's happening is that, you know, the last two years, you could literally buy a house. And at that moment, I would tell you, oh yeah, buy the house at this price, let's say 200000 Buy the house at 200000 and the ARV, the after repair value, you could literally sell this house for 350000 So the investor's like, okay, cool, let's do the deal, fix it up. When he finishes the house and we're about to put it on the market, I'm like, oh my God, I have really good news for you. We're actually going to be able to sell this house for like three seventy five. We put it on at three seventy five, and we would actually get multiple offers and end up selling it in some cases for four hundred. So he had originally bought it for two hundred, thinking he was going to sell for three fifty. Ended up selling at four hundred. That has been what we've been doing, but it's changing, guys. Okay. So I want you as the investor to start being more critical at the ARV because a deal is always going to be a deal, right? So that's going to be it. But how do you determine what is a good price to buy the house is because you determine what price you're going to sell the house, okay? And this is the part where you need to really have your glasses on or if you work with me, you don't even got to worry about it because I'm worrying about it and I'm doing the research for you. So right now what's happening is we're starting to get in a more level playing field. So do the research, look in your own neighborhood right now, go on Zillow and say, what's for sale around me? I guarantee you it'll be at least five houses for sale. I'm currently seeing that in most neighborhoods, we're seeing at least five homes for sale. This is huge guys. The, we, in the last two years, if there was one house for sale, you were like, oh my God, there's a house for sale. There has not been a house for sale. So you as the investors, you guys have been buying the houses, which I'll also mention, you guys have been buying the houses at absolute top dollar too, okay? Because there's been a, a really a lot of, even any seller was selling at top dollar. So even a distressed property, a distressed home, it was still selling for absolute top dollar. So, so you were paying top dollar, but you were also selling for top dollar. So it was a win-win. You hit both seller sides, okay? But now you're going to have to, so let's say that you're, you have a house, you found a seller that's looking to sell, okay? 
And now you're doing the research. You're going on Zillow, you're looking up comps or whatever it is, right? And let's say that you see one house close sale that's like yours, uh, top dollar was 470. And then you see one that was, you see two that were 450 and you see one that was 425. So you doing your ARV and determining, hey, once I fix up this house, once I do all this, this is what I'm gonna sell for, what price are you gonna say? Well, you should say 450, okay? Because the 470 is one sale, okay? It's one sale. And as we start having more homes for sale, we're not gonna be seeing those escalation in prices like we've been seeing. So like I said before, we would get, I say, okay, when you finish the house, you'll sell it at, at 375 and then you end up selling it at 400. We're not, I, we're not gonna be seeing that, okay? Now we're gonna go back to traditional real estate, to regular real estate where there's five or six houses for sale and you actually have competition as a seller. You haven't had competition the last two years. You've been the only guy on the block selling and that's why you're selling and you're also, you know, as an investor, it's a brand new kitchen, a brand new roof, brand new windows, brand new everything. So you're still going to have that advantage on the market that your house will be typically the nicest house for sale, you know, because you've invested a lot of money. But um, but I don't want you guys getting stuck on the back end saying, because that's what we've been doing. We've been saying, oh, the highest sales 470. Okay, perfect. We'll get you 470. And then once you actually go on the market, we're selling it for 500 or 525. Okay, so now when you're looking at the ARVs, I want you to start looking. You want to find multiple comps. So you want to say, you know, at 425, 450, 450. Okay, I feel good at 450. Don't be going to no 470. Okay, because then what happens is, is that then you're buying the house for more money. Then you're fixing it up, which you bought the house, you can't go back. And then the cost to repair it is the cost to repair it. You know, you can't, it is what it is, you know. And then you go to get on the market and then the market tells you that you can only sell for 450 and you went on at 470 and you're sitting and you're sitting and you're sitting on the market because there's other competition, you know, you do not want to do that guys. So the number one thing is, is book the link below and get in and get in conversation with me, Carolyn Castillo, that I am known for getting homes sold for absolute top dollar. That is what we do. And let me tell you guys. I've been selling homes for absolute top dollar before COVID, before this whole craziness, I've been selling homes for absolute top dollar. Every single neighborhood I can show you my stats, I have been the top listing in that neighborhood for that time period, okay? So I all I master the art of selling homes for absolute top dollar. So my investors have made a killing with me. They love me because we make a lot of money together. I make money, they make money, we're all making money together. So I want to make sure that you guys understand we are not playing by the same book of rules. Are we still going to be buying and selling houses? Are we still going to be making money? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But but now we got to start understanding things are shifting. We're not going to be seeing the multiple offers. We're not going to be seeing the appraisal, appraisal waivers. We're not going to see inspection waivers. You know, we're getting back to traditional real estate. So make sure that when you're comping your properties, you are looking for not the highest sale and saying, oh, I'm going to sell 20,000 more than that. You're looking at things that are like, okay, three houses sold for 450. That's what I'm going to make it. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you in, in, in moving into this new market. And again, if you do not have a trusted real estate relationship with a trusted realtor, contact me. We're servicing North Florida and we're servicing South Florida. So if you're doing business in any of those markets, hit me up book a consultation below. I want to get to know you. We have properties that we work with that are distressed that we give out to our investors and then we sell them after they're done getting fixed up. So guys, continue making that money. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.